internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, you know, friends, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe. You got your sound turned up so people can hear what's going down on Synergy Cafe. So I've got another friend here, and uh, strangely enough, also from Arizona. That's where my other two were today. So Arizona is hot topic today, and her name is Heather. Hi, hey there. how's it going? <laughs> Heather, is your last name pronounced Chote? Good job. Chote like goat. And the E could it be Chote, so maybe you're from France. Nah, just Chote. Chote. That's what it- Chote like goat. Word. <laughs> like it. <laughs> so you are from Arizona. How long have you lived out there? Just a few months, actually. Oh. More of a Colorado girl, actually. So getting used to the hot. Where'd you live in Colorado? All over Denver, Colorado Springs, and then Southern Colorado, near Durango. Okay, I've been to Denver and Colorado Springs, of course. Yeah. I remember when I went out there as a little kid and we were walking down the street and turned around. There's the mountains, and it startled us. We thought maybe we were in some Japanese monster movie or something because the mountains are huge out there. <laughs> yeah, love the mountains. But Miss you them. had to get into Arizona where it's nice. And... I, you know, I, I had a nephew that lived out there. I think he was in like Tempe or something like that, and I never made it out there. So I've never been to Arizona. I think I've been around it. Maybe I might have gone through it, but I got to get out to Arizona. <laughs> yeah, my kids thought we'd landed on a an alien planet, the desert and the saguaros and all of that. So it's definitely its own place. It's unique. Well, don't you? You guys do have a different time zone thing. You don't do that back and forth goofy thing like everybody else does, right? Right. And I'm still trying to catch up with that one because I'm used to the time zone change. So I don't know. We yeah, we just stay on the same time. I don't know why they do. I'm, I'm always having to figure it out. <laughs> I like that better. Yeah. <laughs> you got kids and married and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I have six children. What? Six children. A litter. One husband. <laughs> Holy smokes. I don't have any kids. My, my, my wife's got one, and uh, he was going through his teen into 20s kind of thing, and I had to deal with that stuff. I don't know how you do it with six of them. Well, we're not at the teens yet. <laughs> Ask oh, okay. me another five years, and then we'll, that'll be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do start getting independent. Right. <laughs> So what is it that you do? I read a little bit on your, you're a speaker and uh, you do, you do, you wrote some books, I think, and it's about health. Yeah, I write, I've been a fiction author for 10 years and then I just published a memoir that's a Amazon bestselling book and um, I'm republishing it with a traditional publisher this summer. So yeah, writing is my passion. It's my love. I love sharing messages that uplift, entertain inspire people that's what i do so yeah i enjoy it edutrainment <laughs> what's that edutrainment edutrainment i like yes. it I, do you also do coaching and stuff i do okay yeah. good a, a lot of people company. do that a lot of people do that yeah. and yeah. i'm an i'm an advocate of coaching i don't like to do it myself i i, do, I got a short fuse not really i don't blow up or anything but i have a hard time <laughs> teaching people because if they don't get it it's if they really want to learn. My wife is a coach. She helps people with that kind of stuff. So, But I'm an advocate because I believe it's important that a person is able to get something from somebody else's point of view so they can see it. Oftentimes you can't. You got that, right. that blinder thing on. Yes. Yeah, having a mentor, having a coach has totally like 10 x my success, taken me to a different level just because of that, that perspective, you know, and to kind of leverage their experience. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm just able to progress so much faster when I have a coach. And also the accountability is great too. Well, it's like, a, it's like, a, me, like I got to get it done. <laughs> it's like a guy that doesn't like to ask for directions and you just, you're always yeah. driving around. Yeah. You never get to where you're going. But if you just ask, then you can get directions yeah. by a pioneer that has blazed the trail already. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> so can you want to tell us a little bit about your programs and things and what you, uh, what you share with people? Absolutely. So, we are wellness experts. We teach people how not to just survive challenges in their lives, but to thrive. Um, and we've all personally been through a numerous 
variety of challenges. You know, life likes to throw us curveballs, right? Um, so my story personally is that two years ago, I was diagnosed with a life-threatening form of breast cancer. And it didn't just affect me, but I was actually pregnant at the oh, time wow. of the diagnosis. Um, and so the doctors were encouraging me to actually end the pregnancy to save my own life. Um, but my intuition, that inner voice inside me, for myself, I knew that that wasn't what was the right path for me. And so with that, we kind of went through those challenging circumstances, trying to treat the cancer while save the baby and myself. Um, and with that, facing mortality, potential mortality at only 29 years of old, you know, 20, 20, 20 years, ah, I'm getting all tongue tight, 29 years old. <laughs> um, that really brought a lot of things into perspective for me. And I just really love this idea of not just surviving our challenges and not just surviving in life, not just coasting, but actually thriving mm -hmm. through them and taking those, those situations and those challenges and using them to empower yourself. And so that's what I'm all about. It's what I'm here to pay it forward now that I feel like I have a second chance at this beautiful thing called life, right? Very cool. It's kind of like working out, you know, you got to push it beyond so that you grow the muscles will actually grow and get stronger you can't just kind of because you don't grow yes exactly <laughs> and that process is painful and it's hard to be like encourage people to go through that pain however i think we've all experienced that though when we get on the other side of it we're so much better for it True. right i guess humans i think we try to like put ourselves into our comfort zones because that's mm -hmm. where we feel like we're safe we know this this is known and even if we don't like it it's still better than the unknown However, there's still something inside us that calls us, pulls us to get through that, to that unknown, because we know that we're meant for something better. We're not just supposed to stay complacent. We're not supposed to stay stuck, to stay small, to stay the same, but really push ourselves outside of that. I was just talking to my wife this morning about that, that we are creative beings, so we're always trying to expand right. all the time. We're always trying to go to try something new it's it's like with this internet thing you know I try and stay focused on a specific project but then all of a sudden I start thinking about something else so I, I shift <laughs> gears and it's it's a challenge to stay focused on something until it's reached its maturity whereas right. a coach like you like you could help with somebody with some accountability and say no 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 get 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 back in line there or you can kind of right focus yeah we through. live in an age of distraction right the yeah. internet tv all of our culture, all of our busyness. Um, so having that focus, I feel like that's a, a universal law, a law of focus, that when you focus on something and you give your attention to it, then you can, can become a master of that. And that allows you to grow in your own life. So, yeah. Well, I've always said, like, if you were just dropped into Japan, you'd learn to speak Japanese. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, yeah. You know, if you're just all of a sudden, pff, boy, you just, you need to. And uh it's like the old magnifying glass kind of thing too. If you move it, then it doesn't burn. You've got to burn with the sun and trying to, you got to stay focused, but it's really a challenge. Like you said, I mean, when I was a kid, cause I'm almost 60, but we had channel four, five, nine and 11 and channel two, but that's all we had. Yeah. We didn't have thousands of Facebook pages and thousands of Facebook groups and thousands of Facebook friends and then Instagram and Twitter and Google plus and Yahoo and, <laughs> right. yeah, and we don't learn about focus from our culture we don't learn about that it's not something that's widely talked about or encouraged even you know we're trying to multitask thinking that we're going to get thing, more things done if we try to take on more things rather than simplifying stepping back determining the few things that matter most and yeah focusing on those as if your life depended mm -hmm. on it if you have that kind of level of focus you'll move way forward way more fast yeah. and have that kind of inner peace about things rather than feeling like you're everywhere trying to do everything, right? It's, it's, it, well, it's like if you planted an apple seed, the apple seed knows that it's going to grow up and be an apple tree. If all of a sudden it went, oh, I'm thinking about being an orange tree, maybe I can be a carrot. And it doesn't do that. It stays yeah. focused. And then it right. grows up to be what it's meant to be. So I think, I'm assuming that's kind of what you do is find out what a, purpose, a person's purpose and passion is and keep them on yeah. track. And they go, well, I can't do that because I have to we'll go work at the coffee shop. No, that's not your passion. Get back in line. Right. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> Even yeah, though I suppose. Tap into that inner, inner voice so that they can thrive. Because mm -hmm. when you're tuned in to who you really are you know, then you feel on fire about life. Then life is a beautiful unfolding of events and circumstances rather than letting life just happen to you all the time. 
Well, that's why I like I like doing these interviews. I get to meet people from all over the world, and it, it's really, really easy. And I do a lot of video marketing. I use my little tripod here and go out and do little videos here and there. It's really an easy thing to do, and it's kind of fun, and you get popular and all that kind of stuff and recognized. And it, it's a lot easier than going and working at a nine-to-five kind of thing, in my opinion. I've always been self-employed, but it's fun. Yeah. So why yeah. not do what I enjoy rather than doing what I don't like doing? So that, Absolutely. Right. So do you have any upcoming programs that you've got coming up? Do you do, do, you do like live in-person stuff or you just do internet coaching? Primarily online. We're moving into a more in-person kind of segment. So that's kind of the upcoming part. Cool. Mostly right now, I just share messages on Facebook that are just open free to everyone. So on my channel, um, I do Facebook live streams every week. Uh, do interviews, interview other experts, kind of like what you do here. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, and then we're launching the book this summer. It's called Fighting for Our Lives. You, um, and it shares the principles of how to overcome adversity. On, on the sidebar, do you use Smile Time? No, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> that. That's what I've been using. It's pretty cool. It lets you connect on your Facebook feed, and then you can invite, invite guests and drag graphics in. It's just called Smile Time. It's pretty cool. Smile Time. I'll check it out. Yeah. So... So you, you said you are going to be doing some live event stuff because that's part of my my mission is to move the online chatter back into real life activity. Mm, nice. So that way you'd be able to do some kind of like a retreat or something like that down the road. Right. Cool. Well, one thing that we're really excited about is we're actually going to be going into the downtown areas of Phoenix and then my partners are over in Pennsylvania. And we'll be doing um, mini sessions live with people right on the street, helping them get a breakthrough <laughs> in five minutes or less. Cool. Uh, so I'm really excited <laughs> about that. Just showing that, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes a little bit of that focus that we talked about. Hmm. A little bit of focus and you can change your life in a short amount of time. The coach on the street kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. That's very so. cool. So you could almost be doing Facebook Lives. and that, I love it. I love exactly. the mobility and the freedom and the ability to just kind of, you can just do coaching, put your little square thing in your phone and go, would you like a coaching session? Give me a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> so how do we get a hold of you if we want to know more about what you got going on? Awesome. So yeah, I mentioned Facebook, um, Heather Choate, or you can go to www.heatherchote.com. Um, you'll see all my fiction books, my nonfiction books, and all my videos, uh, blog, everything is on there. So heatherchote.com, best way to get a hold of me. Yeah. C-H-O-A-T, I think it was. Yeah. Look what I got on my phone. There I am. There she is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, before I go, I want to ask my favorite why question. You kind of, kind of answered it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's the big why question. Why are you doing this? And why aren't you like a yoga instructor or out there doing uh, peyote rituals with the uh, Native Americans? Or why are you doing what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel really strongly that we do have an inner guidance system. I call it the IGS. Like we have GPS for our phone, right? But our IGS inner guidance system is the system that will guide you through your life. And when you take time for quiet, you get the answers back. And when I think about my life and all the things that I could be doing as a mom of six, you know, busy person, entrepreneur drive spirit there, there's a lot of things I could do, but I feel really on path with this, with sharing these messages, helping people, um, overcome those mental blocks, those limitations that we put upon ourselves, get breakthroughs and achieve ultimately happiness, success, healthy, happy, healthy relationships, all of those beautiful things, really a life of thriving. So I feel on fire about it. And when you feel Very on fire, cool. then you know you're doing the right thing, right? Fire. Yes. Yeah. So I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stick on, we'll chat a little bit, but I'm going to take this and I beam it up to YouTube and then propagate out to the world and people can find it and I hashtag it and keyword it and all that kind of stuff. Cause that's what I do. Awesome. So Thanks. thank you very much, Heather. Peace. All right. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>